This will be the first time I have applied sound dampening material to a car. I will be dampening the doors and installing new Kenwood speakers in my 2013 Kia Rio hatchback. I bought Kilmat 50mm thickness 50 square foot box on Amazon due to its low cost and high reviews. I think it was like 80 bucks for this box, Canadian. I also bought these five rollers with varying widths to make it a little bit easier applying the matting inside the doors and such. Okay, there's two screws I believe here, or no, three. So there's the first one on the side, there's the one in the hand pocket here, and then one in here. Just gotta flip open a little tiny cover, and then unscrew those. I'm just gonna pop it off. I have a couple of tools here. Heavy duty metal one, plastic one. Try the plastic first. Okay, there's no soundproofing in here, it's all hard plastic. A little bit of foam here. Maybe vibration. It's got a plastic barrier here, so I'm gonna have to remove all this and then get all this black tar gunk off of here. Probably just cover up all gaps with the deadener once I line the inside of the door panel. So I got the plastic piece all off. Um, still got to clean up all the leftover black gunk on here. That stuff is like really sticky, but at least it tries to stay together as you see it stretches and clumps together. So uh, I got to unbolt this guy. It's a 10 mil, it's a 10 mil bolt on there. It's got three. Uh, inside, it looks like there's a factory a uh, little bit of a sound deadener here that they coated. It's a small strip of it though. And it's, I don't think you can actually peel it off, so I'll probably just cover it. It doesn't move at all, it's really hard. But it keeps the whole thing from vibrating, I believe. So. Yeah, I'll have to still wash it up a bit in here. Get it all clean so that the sound deadener sticks to the inside. I'll put a, try to cover as much as I can for patches there. Uh, once the speaker's out, it'll give you actually quite a bit of room to move in there and apply the, apply the mats. There's quite a bit of room for hands in here, so. Here's a bit of a tip. So when you take off this liner, this black goopy stuff, which is like a, it feels tarry, but it's like a, rubbery and such 
it likes sticking to itself. So the stuff that remains on the door, find a part on the plastic that you're going to be throwing in the garbage here. Find a part that's really like a large piece of that black stuff on it. Kind of use it like this. It, it takes off. See, it takes off this stuff. So if you try using a screwdriver or plastic piece to take this stuff off, it just smears. Yet this black gunk is attracted to itself more. So it just makes it so much easier. <laughs> first, The first couple doors I was using a my little uh, plastic piece there that I was using to take the door panels off, using that to kind of scrub it off. And it was smearing a lot and it was just a mess. And this is like so much easier just doing this. Like it might not get every single little tiny speck off, but you can just use some soap after that. But yeah, it takes off the large pieces, which is the important part, because that's the part that smears if there's a large piece on the door when you're trying to get it off. Anyway, it's a handy tip for the day. Okay, some things I should have mentioned in the previous doors that I've been working on. Uh, first one is the door latch. Uh, when you're first taking this guy off, he's this way? Yeah, he's this way. He's mounted this way. So <clears throat> uh, when you when you first unbolt it at this spot here, there's one bolt that's holding this guy on. It's just gonna sit. It's just gonna sit there like that, like that. So don't try prying this thing off. It's actually three slide hooks that are holding this on so with the cables attached just force it back a bit and then just it lifts off so it just slots into those guys there so when you're putting on the, the sound deadener make sure you don't cover these and also leave leave a bit of a gap here to allow it to first get in and slide in if there's any deadener up, up close to this guy you got to really push hard on this guy to get it to slot in or else because the deadener's forcing it away so save yourself some trouble by just don't cover this so far kind of leave where this indent is maybe just put this as deadener on this side but just leave all this clear uh, the back doors when you're taking off the panel this piece here that sits up sits like this it just slots in with three three uh, clips this I guess has to come off first before the door panel will lift up and pop off. So just put your little plastic piece in here and just pop them off. And then the other the other part, once you've undid all the screws and popped off the bottom clips, it just lifts right off then, just like the front door. <clears throat> uh, for the when you're doing deadener on the inside, make sure you've cleaned it nice and good. There shouldn't be any dust or oil or anything covering this metal or else you're going to have problems with uh, it not sticking or it's going to have rust build up underneath and such. So, so as you can see, I've, I've spick and spanned it pretty good here. Even all the dirt, like I don't go down that far. Make sure you don't cover these holes at the bottom here. Those are drain holes, so when water gets in here from rain or a car wash or whatever, it drains out the bottom here. If you've covered those up, then the water's going to sit in here and possibly cause rusting in the long term. So just leave those holes clear so usually your sound deadener would be just above that so don't go all the way down into the crevice down there so so yeah uh, speaker wires uh, the new speakers i'm putting in clip on from the back here so i don't have this guy here i just shove inside here before i put the deadener on so this guy sits like this so that i can attach the speaker over here um, yeah, the front was the same way, except the front, this wire is sitting way up near the front of the door, but right next to it is a little rubber grommet that you can just poke a hole through and just run the wire through into that little grommet, and then it'll run down here, so you don't have to try to wind it back or make your own hole or anything like that, so, so yeah, that made it easy. Yeah, I just finished lining the inside of the door. 
on like the inside of the outer panel, I guess. Where's my light? These things are handy. Magnetic, it's got a strong magnetic bottom and then a nice bright LED. So working inside or you can just clip it anywhere inside you want. So it's so running all the way down. Now I just got to do the cover here underneath the the door panel. So. so we got the bottom opening covered over here. So yeah, if I ever need to work inside the door, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But uh, anyways, uh, this guy here, I want to put one piece. So I need to make room for this cabling. So I found that. These guys slip off easily just by unhooking it and then twisting this guy so it lines up. And then just pop it out. Come on. It's hard to hold this with one hand. There. So they just pop out like that, both latches. So now I can just cut a small slit in this thing and run the cords through there so that'll block most of it anyway and then uh, this guy here unplugs from here so I can run him through also another hole just finished sealing this guy up with uh, kill mat uh, 50 mil um, so I also installed the Kenwood speaker I also bought this rubber cushion around here which helps seal the sound so it comes straight out the front panel instead of spreading around inside the panel also reduces vibration and such. Uh, what was I gonna see? Oh, this uh, factory or aftermarket bracket here. Uh, two holes match up, then you got to drill a hole for the to actually get it to bolt in on the other the last piece. So yeah, just use the screws that came with it. Um, the screws that come with this to attach the speaker to this bracket are way too long. So they end up contacting the metal here and pushing the bracket out. So I had to scrounge up some short screws and use those to screw the speaker to this plastic bracket. <clears throat> so that was a bit annoying. I just finished the passenger rear door. A lot more smaller pieces because there's uh, two support bars inside there uh, for side collision I guess. So I completed driver's side door. Okay, the speakers are all installed, sound matting's all, sound dampening's all done. I ran across one issue here. This guy here that goes inside the door when you close it, as you can see it slides in there. Well, the speaker wire that I ran inside is sitting right behind here. So somehow that caught on the speaker wire and ripped out the, ripped out the wire from the speaker. I'm wondering why I suddenly had no sound on this side. I had to take it apart and rewire it again. I have no idea because this thing actually sits higher than that wire, so I don't know how it even grabbed it. But something to look out for. So more muffled. You can even you notice right away when you close the doors like the thump is really low and muffled instead of before so 